It's news that's hard to hear. I got so choked up, I, I, I almost cried, you know, just from this sadness. In a letter sent Monday, Connecticut Tribes invites neighbors to help raise awareness about the Cooper Island Residential School and, they say, confirmation of the 160-plus undocumented and unmarked graves in our grounds and foreshore. For Ray Charlie, it brings up the stories he constantly heard as a boy attending the school. They always said, under here, this area, there's berries, babies that were being buried. And, and so that really hit me yesterday because it became more real. Cooper Island School, run by the Catholic Church, closed in 1975. There are countless stories of the horrific physical and sexual abuse that happened there, including the confirmed deaths of 121 students. A team of UBC archaeologists has been working with Penelicate tribes for the past seven years, using ground-penetrating radar to try to find the school's missing children, a search that has proven challenging. The school grounds are right on top of the, you know, the center of the current Penelicate community. Um, so it's not, it's not, we're not talking about an open field. What Simon says they've been finding isn't remains, but grave shafts. And he says their work on the island is nowhere near done. Survivors say following the other grave discoveries in Saskatchewan and Kamloops, it's yet another wake-up call. This is Canadian history and it's gross and uh, it's ugly. And this is something that we don't like to talk about. Uh, we want to move on with our lives too, but unfortunately, this, the truth has to come out. Sweetholt says he wants to find and expose those responsible, both from the churches and the federal government. Today, a vague promise from the Prime Minister. To members of the Penelicut tribe, we are here for you. We cannot bring back those who were lost, but we can and we will continue to tell the truth. What survivors like Ray Charlie really want is for support to identify the remains and bring them home to their communities so their families can finally get a chance to say goodbye.